Hello guys, welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to download the digital soil map of the world from the map catalog of Food and Agriculture Organization, which is also quite famously known as FAO. Now over here you can see that I have opened up this web page from which you can access high resolution soil maps covering different continents and regions of the world. But all of these maps are either in JPEG format or in PDF format. Now for example, if I try to open up the soil map corresponding to South America in PDF format, all I have to do is just simply click over here and that will download that particular soil map in PDF format just like what you can see over here and right here at the bottom you can see the description of the different soil types but in many cases we require this kind of datasets in GIS file formats like S3 shape files so we'll head back to this portal and we'll see how we can download these soil maps in GIS file formats so if you click over here on this digital soil map of the world it will open up this FAO map catalog and what you can do is you can simply do a little search digital soil map of the world and what you're looking for is this one this digital soil map of the world so I'm going to go ahead and click on this and from here you can see that we can download a high resolution map in PDF format for the entire world altogether if I were to click on this download button and you'll be able to download the soil map in this kind of a format but since you are interested in the GIS files what we can do is we can head over to this digital soil map of the world S3 shape file format item and we can go ahead and download that and at the same time you can see that the same map is available in other different formats as well for example if you would like to have it in Erdas format you can actually go ahead and download it from here but in this case since we are interested in the shape files I think we can work with this file you can open up the downloaded zip file and it's going to be a file like this so what I'm going to do is I'm going to extract that file simply by right clicking over here and we can click extract here and to view the shape file we can use a general GIS software like either ArcMap or QGIS any software of your preference for this particular case I'm going to go with the ArcMap but if you're comfortable with using QGIS, you can view the files using QGIS as well without any issue at all. So once you open up Arc Catalog and navigate to the corresponding folder, you will be able to see this .shp file, the shapefile that you can use to view the data. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply drag this and drop it over here into my working space. I get a notification saying that the spatial reference is actually not defined. Well, for this particular tutorial, I'm going to ignore this, but if we inspect the metadata of this dataset, we might be able to get some helpful insights on what sort of a coordinate reference system that has been used when, when this dataset was created. But I'm not going to bother about that in this particular tutorial. And over here, if we zoom into some area, you can see now the different soil classes have been specified using different uh, polygons. If I take the identify tool and if I click on one of these polygons, you can see the corresponding soil type over here. We can also have a look at the entire attributes table simply like this. And I'm going to double click over here on this country column so that it'll get sorted alphabetically as we can see like this. And let's say if you're interested in one particular country, for example, let's say that we're interested in France, we can either select the corresponding attributes in this kind of a manner or well, we can do a simple selection of all the polygons which corresponds to France by going over here to select by attributes and from here you can see that the country information is located in this country column say I would like to select from this particular shape file where country is equal to single quotes France and that will basically select all the attributes which has France as the country in this particular column so when I click apply over here you can see that we didn't really have to do the selection manually it selected everything automatically and even if I pan and view the region of France over here you can see that the entire thing is selected already and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click over here and go to data and select export data and when you do this only the selected data will be exported into a new shape file I'm going to define the location to be this tutorial and I'll name this as soil map of France and we can simply click OK and we'll add that 
and now we can simply go ahead and deselect everything and we can even deactivate this uh, DSMW layer which is basically the soil map of the entire world and now you can see that we have the soil map of just France and if I open the attributes table and the column that we are mostly interested in is this DOMSOI column which basically stands for the dominant which basically stands for the dominant soil group now of course in this format we are not really able to interpret what each of these different uh, dominant soil groups actually refer to but if you head back to the folder to which you extracted the downloaded DSMW zip file you'll be able to see one readme file like this so you can open that up and if you scroll down just a little bit you'll be able to see what each of those uh, dominant soil unit codes actually refer to all right now let's go back to arcmap and we'll change the symbology of this map uh, just a little bit so that we can you can see the different uh, soil units with different colors we can click on the symbology tab and from here go to categories and the value field we can we're going to select this dominant soil category and and you can pick a color ramp of your preference i'm just going to go with maybe this color ramp and after that i'm going to add all the values so based on the different unique ids a color will get assigned randomly and we can actually untick this and after that if we click apply and now you'll be able to see the distribution of these different uh, soil groups in this kind of a manner so you can do this basically for any area of interest and as long as it's a country you can export it directly from this dsmw shapefile but in case if it's a specific region that you would like to extract then but in that case you will have to perform a clip operation in order to isolate the area of your interest so that concludes the tutorial guys if you need any clarifications on the steps that we followed in this tutorial you can always add a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe to this channel to stay tuned for these kinds of interesting tutorials on a weekly basis so thanks a lot for watching guys i'll see you again in another tutorial